935 K Day, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sundays in LA. I am Miss Corey Renee, and today, I mean, today, <laughs> I have somebody very special, just like everyone else. But this gentleman is very special because he's from the A Town, okay? And he decided to come all the way to LA to see what's up with your girl one time for the one time, introducing none other than Don P of Trailville. <laughs> What's up? Oh, did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. Okay, great. Hey, hey. <laughs> of course, you know I gotta show you love. Like this has been a long time coming, as you know. So I'm just happy you're here. Thank you. No, no, I'm happy to be here, man. You know what I mean? Anything for the Miss Corey Renee. You know what I mean? For sure. Thank you. <laughs> so you know we are here to talk about so much. So many great things have been happening for you as well as Trillville as a whole. Cannot wait to get into all of the good stuff. I just want to step it back just a little bit. For anybody that may not know, they're going to know today. Uh, okay? So. so when it comes to Trillville as a group, how did the group even form? Um, It's crazy because, I mean, we've been knowing each other our whole lives, right? You know right. what I mean? So L.A., he's was like, I've been knowing him since elementary school. And then the other guy, Dirty Mouth, the big one. Okay. Uh, shout, out. shout out my boy, Dirty Mouth. He, uh, I've been knowing him since high school. Wow. So one day, you know, Dirty Mouth was rapping. And, you know, I used to want to be like Master P, like the CEO type of dude. So I was like, okay, he rapped. So I signed him okay. in high school. That, I'll sign you. Okay, <laughs> you right. on my team. Right. And then I, uh, I figured out my boy, L.A., was a big-time promoter. Mm. And he was throwing these big, huge parties at high schools okay. and um, with big crowds. And I was like, hey, why don't you just join the group? And that's how he got in the group. And we've been Trillville ever since. Come on. Yeah. Just like that. Magic. Just like that. Okay. So in the A, because, you know, I'm from L.A., born and raised. This is all I know. West side to the day I die. Hey. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> but the A <laughs> is here. And, you know, we love the A. L.A. shows uh, Atlanta love all the time. So I just want to know, like, I know – your specific style of music is called crunk music, correct? Right, right. So let's define it right here and right now. What is crunk music? Uh, cr well, crunk is, in general, mm -hmm. is is just a lifestyle, and it's always been a way to express yourself, um, loudly, loudly, and proudly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So crunk music is tribal. Like even like at the shows, everybody's just chanting and everybody like, hey, 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 you know, so it's it's just a, a, a energy. It's a crunk has always been an inclusive, you know, for everybody. Come one, come all like all is involved. Okay. That's why we have such a huge, diverse crowd. Right. Like, you know, we do shows with every ethnicity. You know what I mean? So because this is just all inclusive, you want to have fun. You want to party. You want to be proud where you from. Just like you said, you from L.A. Boom, boom. Hmm. That's crunk. That's the way of crunk because you're representing where you're from and you're proud of it. So that's what crunk is. Anybody representing a city, representing your hood, or if you partying and or, or if you work a nine to five, you're like, yo, I'm off now. I'm going to do whatever I want. Right. You know, that's what crunk is. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> you say it loud, you say it proud. Absolutely. Facts. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's not just Trillville a part of this crunk music era, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So with that being said and you being immersed into that culture from your standpoint who do you believe to be some of the pioneers of crunk music oh uh, well definitely Lil john shout okay out, shout out Lil john the ceo you know uh we got to shout out Lil john for sure um it's so many people uh bone crusher yeah. you got um young bloods yes. you got crime mob oh. you got little scrappy okay. you got trillville you got uh, Pastor Troy, uh, even Three Six Mafia and stuff like that. When you go outside of Atlanta, and then if you if you just turned up and got good energy, you crunk. You just don't know it. Uh, that's <laughs> and that's why we're having this conversation so everybody can be immersed with the crunk generation yeah. and music and everything as a whole. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. So let's get into the music. That is Trillville. Yeah. We're going. Yeah. We're hanging out. Yeah. And then some cut. Absolutely. Comes on. That's bedroom crunk. <laughs> That's slowed down crunk. You know, for the ladies. You know what I mean? You got to have a song for the ladies, you know? Did you know or have any inclination that some cut was going to be such a big hit? Uh, Not in the moment. Okay. So 
usually when you working on something or you working hard, like our process of recording mm -hmm. is so crazy because we're literally in that moment. So we're not like, okay, we're about to record and then it's just like a stiff room and then, you know, like we're literally partying, there's stuff going on, like, you know, there's ladies around, drinks, party favorites, you know, we like we, we were having fun. <laughs> right. So everything we do was fun. It was never serious, you mm -hmm. know, like, so uh, when we first did the record, it didn't have the bed squeak in it. Really? Yeah, it was just a beat. You know, it's just the beat that you hear. Okay. And then, okay, we did the hook. And then, you know, what it is, yo? What's, What's up? up? Can a player like, just keep like, in touch? You know. So, <laughs> so you know. where I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, so we were doing that. And then while we was in the process of recording it, Lil John was bobbing his head, but he was in this chair. So we just kept hearing this sound. It was just like, and eh, eh, eh. we just could, we was like, man, where is that sound? Cause you know, back then the music still had to be great and we didn't want nothing in it that wasn't. So we were like, man, what is that noise? I can't get it out of my head. You know, I'm a producer. Exactly. So it's really bothering Come me. Come on. So, so we were like, play it again. Then John, was like, eh, 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 eh. he just nodded his head to the side. And then we were like, it's the chair. It's you the know, chair. It's the chair. So we was like, but it's, it's going with the beat. You know, we like, it's going with the beat. So we had John, everybody mic'd up the chair. The engineer mic'd up the chair. And then we was like, do it again. And then he played the beat. He was like, eh, 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 eh. and we was like, put it in there. Right? Whatever, put it in there. The you know? rest is history. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Like, to this day, like, in the clubs, like, it has not ever slowed itself down. Some cut is in everybody's mix like we come from it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. shout out to our um, sister station power 106 they still play every like it's it's never ending it will never <laughs> end and just to even like show and prove that taking it a step further dochi oh man yeah that man was crazy. that's big shout out dochi really shout out the whole td man shout out y'all for sure completely remade it made it into her own i mean Let's go backwards a little bit. Um, BT Awards 2023. Yeah. She brought you guys on to pay homage. Trillville came out first, and then she hit her hit. You know what it is. Yeah. How is that, or what does that feeling feel like to know that even yet and still, Trillville is making such an impact? Oh, man, it, it feels great. It feels great. Anytime you can impact the culture, you know what I'm saying, with something that people just love and they keep going on and on and on. I mean, it's just a, it's a great feeling, you know what I'm saying? And everybody who sampled it, like even from Drake, um, when he dropped, uh, sampled it for his album, uh, Russ and Bia, wow. when they did, uh, I like the way you were, hey. yeah. you know what I mean? All the way up to Dolce. Um, it's just cool. Everybody just paying homage. And she was just like, y'all got to come out right. and do the beat. And I was like, of course. Like, what? Is that a trick question? Yes, we on the way. First flight out. Red eye. Red we gotta eye. <laughs> Spirit. I don't care what we oh, we gonna we get there. <laughs> okay. Where's the entrance? <laughs> Big facts. <laughs> I don't care how we get there. Right. <laughs> Getting done. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. So with that being said, clearly you're making an impact. And now not only are you gonna be impacting song and music. We about to hit the screen. Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Film time. Film uh -oh. time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, I figured it was time Yeah. for this story to be told. You mm. know, it's time for the, the, the crunk story in Atlanta to be told. You know, this is a nostalgic piece, a period piece. This before everybody was in the club, you know, with the phones. Right. Uh, so and this this baggy clothes, you know, tie dye shirts, yeah. you know. So it, it, and people actually dancing with people they don't know in the club. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It's no sections back then, you know. No section. None. Just a big room. Just a big room. Pick a corner. Two party. Come it's on. a dance floor. Yes. Now the people who were on the wall was on the wall, but most people was on the dance floor. Absolutely. Your section back then was the wall. Like, right. Hey, you're, the, you're on the wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even cool to be on the wall. It, like, it was not. Like, why you ain't on the dance floor? So um, it's a period piece just talking about, you know, how we came up in the club, um, Trillville, um, Scrappy, and Crime Mob, and how we got to Lil John. So mm. it's really just a, it's told from my eyes, and it's just a, I was just a little kid that had a dream all his life of doing music. And I would do anything to get there. <clears throat> so any challenges, any obstacles that were thrown my way, I was just determined 
to get there and nobody was gonna stop me. And mm -hmm. I ended up working with one of my favorite artists in the world, which is Lil Jon, who just did the Super Bowl, by the way, which, which is Atlanta's first Super Bowl win. Woo! I don't care what nobody's saying. We won a Super Bowl. <laughs> that day. <laughs> that day, yeah. <laughs> Big facts. I love it. So it's still in its production phase. Yes. So I'm really happy I'm able to talk to you about it. What do you believe, or so far, what's been your most memorable moment of creating this film? I think I think my favorite part, at first I thought my favorite part was like writing the script because I'm talking about all the old stuff, you uh -huh. know. And uh, But I think my favorite part about doing this movie has been the actual actors that are meeting the real people. Ooh. So all of the actors have like developed the relationship with the real, with the people Person. that they're playing. Yes. So they be like hanging out. Like I, I just look on Instagram and be like, wait, Diamond is hanging with Diamond. <laughs> like what's going on? Oh, Scrappy is with Scrappy. Right. Like what? Princess is with, like this is like, like they, every, they hang out. They like real friends. And the people that's playing Trillville and Scrappy, they're real friends. Like they go over each other's house every day now. Yeah. So I think the relationships that are being built from the film is probably my favorite part for sure. Dang, yeah. dang. Okay, so can you give us any type of insight on what to expect? Or better yet, what do you want the world to come to realize in this film for Trillville? What do you want us to know about it the most, about you guys? Um, I think I think the journey is the most intriguing part, right? You know, everybody always see when you blow up tour buses, you know, the money, the shows, all the fame, you know. Yeah. And, you know, but that comes with after you've made it, right? Correct. Everybody's journey is different, but the principle remains the same. Mm. Is never give up, you know what I mean? Yes. Keep pushing no matter what, even if you have to fight to get there, right? Yes. So we have, you know, Crunk music is like a fight music a little bit, right? A little, a little, a little bit, bit, you know what I'm saying? It's like a happy sinister, like happy menace, you know. Yeah. It's not like dark, but it's yeah. like a happy menace, mm -hmm. you know. So we, you know, we had plenty of fights in the club, you know, that we had the other groups that we had to fight to get to where we needed to be, you know what I mean? Okay. And, uh, you know, so, but it just shows like you would do, in any journey, you have to just persevere. So I want people to take away um, the journey yeah. and, 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 and how we got here and just the excitement and the energy that we brought to the world. Yes. Yeah, for yes. sure. I can't wait. I'll be there. You know, I'm inviting myself to the premiere. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's why so. you're really here for but me so. to tell you yeah. that I'm coming. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's 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 a no brainer. <laughs> Miss Cora Renee will be at the premiere. Come on now. <laughs> Shout out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So as you mentioned earlier, and I'm really glad you did because you said I'm a producer first. Yeah. That's what I do. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and shed more light on the production side of your yeah. miss. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of you, Don P, the yeah, producer. Yeah. Um, you've worked with plenty, like yeah. Scrappy, Little John, like the list does continue. Yeah. So with that being said, like how I don't wanna say your favorite because I'm sure all of them are your favorites as it relates to the get, process. Get on my level is my favorite. Get up. <laughs> never ever 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 it's get like, on my level. Just say that. <laughs> Cause that's that's there. my baby. That was my first one. That's oh. that's what got me through the door. So get on my level. That's definitely my favorite. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Get on it. my level. Ho. Get on my level. Ho. Get on my level. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? The I energy. Do. I do. It's, it's no other song like when that song come on. The energy in the stadium be stupid. Oh my gosh, stadium. Let's talk about that. Weren't you guys at um the Falcons? game okay yeah so we did the falcons game we, then we did the millennial tour oh yeah so we, we nice. came out here and rocked uh what is it crypto yeah 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 we did that and i brought out little john for that show <gasps> in la oh my gosh yep, yep. oh wait that was a kia forum kia which forum. is right next kia to each forum. other yeah, yeah, kia yeah, forum. yeah shout out to the kia forum mayor but we appreciate you always. Yeah. 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 That job was crazy. Crazy. So, yeah. So, I love, when Get On My Level come on, like, no energy is like that energy. It's crazy. Damn. Yeah. Did it take a long time to produce? It did. I had to do the beat. We did the beat. I probably did the beat over, like, three times. Okay. Yeah. What do you look for as a producer as it relates to sound? Um, I don't know. I just, I just go for it. However I'm feeling that day. That's just how it's gonna come out, uh -huh. good or bad. Okay. <laughs> this is what you get. This is yeah. This is <laughs> it's coming out of me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. 
whatever it is that day, that's what it is. But uh, I just try, I'm, I'm free flowing, you know, when it comes to stuff like that. I love that. I love that. So back into the producer bag. A little birdie told me that, you know, L.A. is L.A. Right now, it's like a huge beef going on between Kendrick Lamar as well as Drake. And as it stands, it looks like Kendrick kind of won. Um, so with that being said, I heard that you actually have some unreleased music with Kendrick Lamar. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <gasps> I actually got I got two records with Kendrick Lamar and J-Rock. Um, yeah, that I have. One called Three Minutes of Watts, and the other one is called... Uh, dark nigga oh <laughs> i'm glad you said it i was like oh yeah. okay but um but it's crazy because um the record uh dark n-i-g-g-a yeah <laughs> uh that that record is like really interesting to me because it, it's like a female record okay but you know with what's going on right now okay. it can really be taken any, any kind of way, way. <laughs> 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 yeah so that's that's funny to me but shout out to td shout out to kendrick um shout out to j-rock but kendrick lamar like from the first time i ever saw him like in a studio rapping i knew like he was gonna be something like big hmm. from day one right um yeah he's he's special he's he's just you don't get that and i, I feel like even with the whole beef going on i think it's a treat for us to be getting what we getting because people like that don't come around often for facts, sure. Facts. Yeah. Like just this past single day, Mayo, like it was up, up. and it was stuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like fact. people I ain't seen in years. Yeah. Was outside. Nah, for real. No, nah, he got he got LA on fire come right now. On! Y'all like we back. <laughs> we, we back. <laughs> Cause we are back. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. So, do you think you ever want to release it, man? Uh, plink, 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 yeah, plink. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's you know, I, I, we might release it. You know, it's, it's up in the air. Just, just be on the lookout. Okay, like, yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, I'll be the first. Like, um, you could go ahead and release <laughs> that here on Sundays in LA on 935 Cat Act. Hey, okay. say no more. Putting it out there. Okay, okay. sure. Hey, listen here. <laughs> <laughs> what about um tour? You guys, like, every time I look up, you are at a show. Yeah. Like literally. Yeah. So um, I think the latest one I saw is like from Memorial Day or something close to it, like on a boat, like oh, you yeah, taking yeah. cruises. Let me see. We're going to be we're going to be in Savannah on Memorial Day. Then we got the cruise coming up. Wave Jam Cruise on September 20th to the 23rd. That's nice. going to be fun. OK. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we, we, we always have shows coming and it's always good to like connect with the fans and party with the fans because that's what we do. Yeah. Like. We we never really been the Hollywood type of group. Like we always just be for the people. We want to party. We want to kick it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we party with y'all. Like, yes. What's happening? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, it's always good to just touch the people and you know everybody have a good time. You know what I mean? I love that. Is there any other like upcoming projects that we should maybe know about? Um, the film man. Welcome to Cronkville. It's the so welcome to Cronkville is the, what I got going right now. That's the biggest thing, uh, the movie. So that's taking up a lot of my time, but it's just so fun. Yeah. And um, but yeah, that's that's just it. Welcome to Cronkville. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, and the merch. The and the merch. Yeah, get the merch. Yep. Yep. Get Talk the about the merch. Yeah, yeah, gotta get the merch. Where can they find that? Just DM me, Don P. Trillville. Just DM me. I'll get I get it out to you. <laughs> We gonna make it happen. Cash out. It's Trillville. It cash, Zill. cash out. Zill. Okay. I'll ship it out. <laughs> It'll get shipped out, you know what I mean? If you want to hand delivered, okay, just, like, let us know. I will make sure I'm going to help. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get it to you on you'll time. Be, yeah, you'll get it for sure. <gasps> Don P, we are here. Oh, no, nah, big facts. Like. No, nah, big facts. Y'all, I don't think you guys know, like, me and Don P are friends. We've been friends for some time now. So it's really, truly, I just want you to know, like, it's a truly – so special of a moment to be able to have the conversations we've had, talk about all the different things, and then to be able to be here. Oh no, big facts. At the same time, so yeah, nah, it's been it's definitely been a a cool journey, a great uh friendship, and uh, you know, we've been we've been working. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so it it just makes it all the all the better when it's almost like to see you at the top thing, like yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. We going to keep going because yeah. the movie's there. Yeah. And I'll be covering it for Big you. Fact. Listen. Red carpet type. Yes. Yeah, you know I mean? Don P, thank you again for being here. Thank you for having me, for sure. 
And you guys, that has been Sundays in LA with Miss Corey Renee on 935K Day Hip Hop back in the day.